Dave and Ken are like open to, um, very open to their the actors' ideas and um, you know and sort of even if they even if they I think even if they really don't want whatever it is that you, somebody came up with they still like allow it and get it and and they're willing to um, you know take a shot with just about anything and and uh, yeah it was, it was it was made for a really fun and like. Uh, you know, you really truly didn't know what was going to come out of people's mouths, so it was a lot of uh, fun observing and fun watching on this set. Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston and George and Linda are uh, New Yorkers, and they, 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 you know, it's very much a tale of the time. They suffer uh, some economic crisis of their own because of the, because of, uh, you know, the state of our, of our world and our economy, and they, they can't afford their lives anymore. And, you know, they lose their jobs and they can't get work, and uh, so they, and they, they bought it bought an apartment that's now devalued, they can't get their money back, so they sell it for what they can, they have no money, all they have is their car and a few possessions, they decide to go to Atlanta to, uh, to live with, with Paul's brother, played by Ken Marino. And, uh, and, they, and on the way there, they, they find this bed and breakfast to stop in, they stop in this bed and breakfast, and it turns out it's a commune, and it's this, they have this amazing night, and they, and they, and they, you know, basically figure, you know, wh why would we leave here? They come back and they, they decide to stay and give it a shot and give, maybe this will be what, you know, this will be what satisfies them. This will be the way of, of, uh, of life that, that, that gives them a sense of meaningful life. And, the, and they encounter all of these um, kind of wild, wild folks and uh, uh, hilarity ensues.